I think it's a tough decision for most people to start tithing, to start giving back to God, because I don't think there's anybody that, that's out there that says, you know what, I've got a whole bunch of extra money. I just need to get rid of some money. You know, everybody has just enough to get by on, I think. I would, I would tell anybody that hasn't started giving, it's not about a building. It, it's really not about building a building. It's about increasing your faith. And I want everybody to be able to experience what I've experienced. I mean, because it's, to me, it's life changing to know that that God is there, that God is real, that God is, is there to take care of you. What we've gone through the last five years now in, in growing the church organically and going through this experience where it's difficult at City View to just be a spectator, to just come on a Sunday morning and sit in a pew for an hour and then go home. You're almost forced to get involved because of the dynamic of, of the meeting place that we have now and the, and the size of church that we have now. So I think for a lot of us that's instilled more of a, a sense of service than we would maybe have otherwise. And so I think as we begin to build a building and have a place that's permanent and have a place like that, we've already established this kind of culture of service, of engagement, of not just coming to church on Sundays, but being involved in the church and being involved in the mission of the church. It kind of puts into perspective that maybe the church isn't just a building, it is, it is the body, it's the people. And the next, but it is what's the next step. Yeah. Like we are ready for what yeah. the next step is. We're ready to grow as, and be actually, you know, a foundation in, a foundation. in the community. Yeah, we will still serve, yeah. but not having to set up or tear down. Yes, there's gonna be some level of that effort for preparation for Sunday mornings or whatnot for children's, but just that little bit of extra time that maybe you don't have to be there exactly 30 minutes in, in, early or whatnot. You just will have that ability to kind of come in and fellowship with each other, then go serve. Be, living in Friendswood, we've struggled sometimes where we're like, we're so far, our kids aren't gonna connect or grow up with these kids in school. But at the end of the day, um, the location doesn't matter. It's those, those, those relationships places. because they're gonna have those strong relationships with those believers that they're growing up with and they'll always have that to grow back on. They don't need to go to school with those kids uh, to be able to still go to that church.